Thank you, my big brother. E. <laughs> Jubilee Prime Minister and Umama, patron of the number 40, 43 Foundation, the mayor of the Manzini City Council, U.S. Ambassador to Swaziland, Ndade Masilel, well known as Ubaba Utongo, and the Masilela family. The extended family of number 43, comrades and friends. I'm deeply honored to have the opportunity to be standing in front of you, addressing the this gathering on behalf of someone who is irreplaceable. It is important to emphasize that in my capacity, there is no way I could represent Umama Grasha Mashaya. In this regard, I'm here to deliver a message from Umama Grasha Mashaya. As you can imagine, I was extremely excited with the opportunity of sharing a podium with our mother. I end up with a bigger task of having to represent her and the sentiments of the Mandela family. As we all know, the Mandela family is currently seized with the all, import, all, with the all important and yet unfortunate matter of having to be by Dada Madiba's side as he recovers in hospital. The family was hopeful that he will recover sooner, but unfortunately still required more care in the hospital setting. As time went on, and in consultation with family, Umama requested me to come and deliver a message to this prestige gathering. Umama has requested that I convey her good wishes for the successful event. Equally, I image, I image that you will want me to take back heartfelt messages of goodwill and strength to Mama and the Utata Madiba family from the people of the Kingdom of Swaziland. Umama has also sent a message of apology for not being able to carry out a national duty by addressing this historic gathering. Being a citizen of the world, resident of the region. She will have wanted to deal with matters of unification and cooperation of people of the region. Due to the ailment of the family, she regretted was unable to join you tonight. She will love to be considered for future engagement of the number 43 legacy project. The spirit of Umagoko is what has moved us in the past. She sees it doing so in the future to help us preserve what was achieved in the past. As Mama Michelle communicated last week with me that, I quote, she said to me, Madiba once said, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made in the lives of others. I've thought of his words on each occasion. The world stood with him, making a difference to him in his healing. So much love and generosity from South Africans, Africans across the continent, and thousands more from across the world have come our way to, to lighten the burden of anxiety, bringing us love, comfort, and hope. The messages have come by letters, SMSs, by phone, by tweeters, by Facebook, by email, cards, flowers, and the human voice, in particular the voices of children in schools or seeing outside our home. We have felt it, the closeness of the world and the deepest meaning of the strength and peace. Our gratitude is difficult to express, but the love and peace we feel give yet more life to the simple thank you. Being of service to ordinary people often requires tremendous 
self-sacrifice, putting the interest of others before that of our own and family. Such sacrifice involved Madiba contributing 67 years of his life to the struggle against apartheid. It was not an individual act, but what left his family little choice but to be part of it. Indeed, we can see from Mama Michelle's gratitude to the world that like any other caring leader, she's not just a concern about her and the family own grief. She's not concerned about the collective pain of millions of people around the world who also see Tata Madiba as their father, leader, and friend. I imagine too that she was well aware of the fact that she was marrying a man who was already married to the struggle of the United Democratic non-racial, non-sexist, just and prosperous society. Responding to the imperative of their times, leaders such as Nelson Mandela, O.R. Tambo, J.B. Marx, Ruth First, the Kachalias, and others sacrificed their youth, family life, and the spoils of life in pursuit of the national struggle of them. Understanding the sacrifice that this generation has made, we must therefore answer the question of what the youth of today, those of us, who have experienced freedom in our lifetime or were born free must do to take the struggle forward. The family is happy at home with the recovery they have been observing on the side of Utata Madib. And they thank you for the thoughts and prayers that have poured in their direction. It is these prayers that have allowed us to comfort and strength in my language, in Sepedi, I would like to say Mashako Amaswa Aemakamatala, which means that the young stand by the elders to reach their destiny. On behalf of the Mandela family and Umama Grasha Mashal, I thank you. <laughs>